जनरल साइंस स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स चैप्टर सेवन न्यूट्रिशन एंड डाइट कैन यू रिकॉल विच आर द वेरियस ग्रुप्स ऑफ फूड स्टफ्स नेम दंस यू सी इन दिक्चर्स विच मेन कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ फूड डू वी गेट फ्रॉम देम लिविंग थिंग्स take food and water and use them for a variety of purposes such as obtaining energy growth of the body to carry out day to day functions of the body to fight diseases in living things the process of taking in food and water and using it for growth and other purposes is called nutrition and the constituents of food useful for these purposes are called nutrients nutrients and food stuffs there are six main nutrients in our food carbohydrates fats proteins fiber vitamins and minerals these nutrients are present in the different food items we eat in differing proportions let us learn more about some of them energy giving nutrients carbohydrates our main need is of energy it is fulfilled by carbohydrates hence our diet includes a large proportion of cereals in the form of rice chapati or roti bhakri and bread which contain carbohydrates cereals are a staple food fats some part of our energy requirement is also fulfilled by fatty foods such as oil ghee and butter we get energy in the form of heat from the food we eat heat is measured in kilo calories hence the energy in food items is also measured in kilo calories children of growing age need to get approximately 2000 to 2500 calories from the food they eat proteins we need proteins for the purposes of growth repairing the wear and tear of the body and for other life processes we get proteins from the sprouts milk and milk products meat and eggs in our food minerals and vitamins to improve the body's resistance to disease and for other life processes the body needs vitamins minerals and fiber in the diet we obtain these nutrients mainly from vegetables and fruits we require vitamins and minerals in small quantities but that deficiency can lead to various diseases let us learn more about them the body needs several inorganic substances they are called minerals the table below gives examples of some minerals and provides information about their functions in the body the various sources of the minerals as well as the diseases caused by their deficiency deficiency means less proportion vitamins water soluble vitamins vitamin b and vitamin c dissolve easily in water so they are called 
water soluble vitamins they are thrown out of the body through the water in sweat and urine hence a regular supply of these vitamins is essential essential means important b1 b2 b3 b6 b9 and b12 are the important types of vitamin b water insoluble vitamins these vitamins are insoluble in water but are soluble in fatty substances they get stored in the body vitamins a b e and k are the fat soluble vitamins vitamins sources and functions vitamin a helps in protection of eyes helps to keep skin bones and teeth healthy sources carrot milk butter dark green vegetables sweet potatoes deep yellow fruits and vegetables deficiency diseases night blindness that is inability to see in dim light and xeroderma that is dry skin vitamin b1 helps in proper functions of nerves and heart sources milk fish meat cereals nuts pulses deficiency diseases beriberi that is nerve disorder muscle weakness inefficiency vitamin b9 helps in growth of the body sources deep green vegetables papayas kiwis deficiency diseases improper growth anemia forgetfulness slow movements vitamin b12 helps in formation of red blood cells sources meat and milk products deficiency disease anemia vitamin c protects body tissues formation of collage collagen a protein essential for gums teeth bones and skin sources amla kiwi oranges and other citrus fruits cabbage tomatoes green leafy vegetables deficiency diseases scurvy that is bleeding of gums thyroid malfunction delay in healing of wounds vitamin d absorbs calcium and phosphorus for healthy bones and teeth sources on exposure to sunlight vitamin d is made in the human body from some substances in milk fish eggs and butter deficiency diseases rickets that is softening of the bones causing pain and fractures vitamin e helps in smooth functioning of metabolism inside the cells reproduction maintaining efficiency of muscle cells sources wheat germ green leafy vegetables tender leaves vegetable oils deficiency diseases weak muscles obstruction in reproduction skin disorders vitamin k helps in clotting of blood sources green leafy vegetables green cabbage broccoli sprouted pulses yellow of eggs deficiency diseases excessive bleeding after an injury always remember some vitamins are very sensitive to heat and light
For example, vitamin C is easily destroyed while cooking. Therefore, vitamin C rich foods should be eaten raw. In the past, Casimir Funk was a scientist who belonged to Poland in Europe. In a scientific article, he read that people who ate brown rice were less likely to get beriberi than those who ate fully milled rice. He was able to identify and isolate the substance which prevents this disease. He named it vitamin. He also proposed that other disorders like scurvy, pellagra and rickets were also caused by a deficiency of various vitamins. Probiotics You know that the useful microorganisms which convert milk into yogurt are present in yogurt and in buttermilk. They are called probiotics. Lacks of microorganisms reside in our intestines. Their presence in such large numbers is essential for our health. Hence, to maintain them in our body, we should include probiotics such as yogurt and buttermilk in our daily diet. When we suffer from loose motions and vomiting, we throw out microorganisms along with intestinal water. Some medicines can also kill them. Therefore, we need to take extra yogurt or buttermilk to restore their numbers. A balanced diet. All that we consume during the day is together called our diet. A diet containing adequate quantities of all nutrients is called a balanced diet. To build a strong and healthy body, you need all nutrients in the right proportion and in sufficient quantities in your daily diet. Significance of a balanced diet Significance means advantages. An increased capacity to work, good physical and mental health, increased capacity to fight or resist diseases, helps in proper growth of the body. Apart from having a balanced diet, we also need to exercise regularly to keep ourselves fit and healthy. How to get a balanced diet? To ensure that we get a balanced diet from the food we eat, we can make a food pyramid. All food which we eat is classified into various groups. The space allotted to each food group in the pyramid depends upon the proportion in which it should be included in our diet. Hence, we can choose foods from each group daily according to the space allotted to it in the pyramid. We can choose some items from each group in the right proportion according to the pyramid shown in the figure. We can make sure that we are getting a balanced diet. Always remember, if our need for nutrients is met through the food we eat, the nutrients are better utilized in our body. Hence, the best way to good health is taking a balanced diet and avoiding the deficiency of any nutrient. Fiber If we select a daily diet which includes vegetables, fruits, sprouts and cereals according to the pyramid, we will also get fiber in sufficient quantity. Water Along with all the other nutrients, the body also needs an adequate supply of water. For this purpose, we must drink milk, buttermilk, lemon juice, sherbets,
fruit juices and plenty of water malnutrition malnutrition occurs when all the nutrients that the body needs are not obtained in the proper proportions from the diet this happens when a person does not get sufficient food or when the diet is not balanced if one's diet exceeds one's need it is called overnutrition junk food chocolates noodles burgers pizzas chips bottled soft drinks attractively packaged snacks as also ready fried food stuffs available in the market such as vadas pakodas etc are very tasty and we like them very much however these food stuffs contain refined flour sugar oil in large proportions when refined flour is made from wheat or when sugar is made from sugarcane many nutrients in the wheat or sugarcane are lost in the process hence all we get from these foods is energy and our hunger is satisfied naturally if we eat a lot of junk foods we will get insufficient quantities of the items from other food groups if this happens frequently our body soon experiences a shortage of proteins vitamins and minerals and that may lead to malnutrition junk food eaten frequently also causes obesity obesity is not good for our health as such foods do not supply all the necessary nutrients they are called junk foods how to avoid obesity have a balanced diet eat whole grains eat fruits and vegetables with their skins increase use of bicycles play more outdoor games do not eat if you are not hungry do not watch tv while eating do not use motor vehicles for traveling a short distance avoid pre cooked packaged foods adulteration of food in order to earn more profits cheaper substances of low quality are mixed with the food stuffs these substances are called adulterants and adding them to food stuffs is called adulteration of food adulterants may even be poisonous or harmful to health such adulterated food is impure and harmful and so unfit for consumption adulterants adulterants used to adulterate food are such that they will remain unnoticed even when mixed with the food here is the list of food items and adulterants adulteration of food is a crime do not eat adulterated foods